the currents of cosmic intervention. The equinox floodgates are open. A giant energetic door was open during the last gateway. In my visions, it presented like a giant wall of rock splitting wide open, like the gates of a dam swinging wide. It was a massive floodgate releasing the accelerated energies of 2015. Specifically, the equinox through the blood moon passages in March, April, and September. I have described these before. This series of four passages serve as an attunement device for those who will experience dramatic shifts in consciousness and embodiment of Christed states of consciousness before the rest of the collective. You are already feeling the intensity of these energies. There may be sensations of anxiety or urgency or a deep intuition that something very different is about to present for the ascending collective. And may I emphasize this will be unique to the ascending collective. As the Pleiadian said in 1999, pay no attention to the distractions near the finish line. Stay focused on the path. You may feel that everything needs to be completed, tidied up in order to free yourself for a brand new experience. That can be challenging, especially for those of you who are in the role of teacher, healer, or guide. Know that in order to demonstrate new levels of consciousness, in order to clear new paths for the collective, there must be focused passages where there is no engagement with lower level constructs. For some of you, that means an hour or a day of private time. For others, it could mean a week or a month of dedicated focus on the ascension process with the higher realms of consciousness presenting to assist you. Regardless of your grounded schedule, the energies of 2015 and the upcoming Equinox Gateway will dominate your process if you are one of the first to embody this new experience of Christed consciousness. The Christed or crystalline consciousness will express in unique ways. However, they all have a unifying factor, divine love, harmony, peace, and an unwavering alignment with the fifth dimensional state of unity consciousness. The cosmic forces in play since January 24th are a great rushing force which carry many into uncharted territory, areas of consciousness that have not been anchored before here on the planet. It is unique because there will be so many experiencing these new levels of light and embodiment as opposed to the past when masters would appear few and far between. This is supported by Gaia's dimensional shift, now two years into anchoring, and the collective level of consciousness, which has been raised by so many way-showers and those in service to the new light. You are already sensing these currents of cosmic intervention, beloveds. The moments, hours when you are experiencing the multidimensional merge of your own consciousness, when you are interconnected with all expressions of your true self, will increase in length and intensity. The experience of oneness within the self may become overwhelming this year. The higher self and divine teams assist with adjustments, however it will be important to hold focus, ground in new light ways whenever necessary, and sleep when you are able. Spend a lot of time in nature this year. Many of the light-encoded filaments coming onto the planet and emanating from Gaia's fifth, sixth-dimensional expression are easily taken into the body and activated in a natural, organic setting. This also applies to the internal environment of the body, the mind, and the energy fields. Do your best to provide a pure, calm, and relaxed environment for the embodiment of these new frequencies. You serve as your own mystery school during this passage, beloveds. 
Creative intuition will bridge you to the fifth dimensional state. Gather in new organic ways. Classic structure does not serve the expansion. There must be wide open space for the unknown. Get comfortable with the uncomfortable. Feel secure in your infinite faith, the source of your highest power. Flow with these currents of cosmic intervention. Follow the impulses and let them activate micro-movements. Moments of flow present in very acute, very precise little passages. Creation gets more precise as the shift advances. A higher vibration receives higher support. Witness the lines of light connecting the ascending collective. Notice the difference in your way showers. Honor these masters, beloveds. The pathways for experiencing multiple realities in form have already been cut. Feel this in your heart. Know that this particular level of embodiment is the level that the masters experienced in the past. You are evolving beyond that. However, this next level occurs as a collective operation. It must be anchored in the collective consciousness as a platform for many to stand on. Many of you will go far beyond that platform. However, the first step is presenting right now. The entry to the golden age, the golden race, is not your ascension, or their ascension, your neighbor's ascension. It is a puzzle which can only be completed by all of us placing the last piece together, a unified embodiment of the Christ crystalline consciousness. Bypass the grounded brick and mortar location issues and connect to the ascending human heart grid in the higher vibration of unity consciousness. You know how to do this. Trust it. Prioritize your alignment. This is your moment-to-moment training. When there is resistance or difficulties arise, wait just a moment. Breathe, reset, align, and move forward. Play with this. Sometimes it takes milliseconds to align with the new light, Sometimes it takes a day. Some creations need to be surrendered altogether, but you have a much higher level of mastery over your own reality as you level up and as the energy increases. The energies present an opportunity to learn to use the power of the moment to consistently shift your reality into the highest possibility. Even with grounded, denser activities, Do not reject or judge them as the wrong thing to do if you feel resistance. It may simply be alignment training which is presenting. In the old light, there was fear about doing the wrong thing or bad timing. Now that your heart is attuned or attuning to the new light flows, you will realize just how powerful Source Incarnate is, human God, man, it is not about manipulating reality or controlling outcomes. It is about aligning with the highest levels of creative intelligence, which is divine love. You are becoming masters of walking between worlds, and that means something very new. Learn from this phase. Observe and participate in the creation of the reality around you. The energies will intensify quickly. Phenomena will increase. The flashes, light beams, the orbs, the pinpoints of light, and other dimensional bleed-through effects will increase dramatically. For those embodying the new light quickly, these gifts of communication and telepathic interaction will assist your service, path, and the collective as you level up. You will receive all the support you need to shift quickly and permanently into higher and higher levels of consciousness if you align with the solar 
heart center and be that sun, that unique universe of self as source. Consider the passage between now and mid-March as alignment training. The more acute your alignment, the more focused your perception on divine love, divine will, divine peace, and the more willing you are to dedicate your consciousness to this stage of the ascension process, the greater your results will be in the first equinox to blood moon gateway. Prove this to yourself. Show yourself what you are capable of. This is a year of mastery, and initiates have a grand opportunity to demonstrate to humanity what is possible. 